Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with a, another model video reviewing and testing Zurich acrylic lacquer primer gray manufactured in the Philippines and widely popular and used by well-known modelers across Southeast Asia Zurich comes in these very handy larger volume plastic bottles with eyedroppers the primer is a darker grey with a bit of a gloss sheen paired to the matte lighter coloured Japanese alternative. I really like and can confirm the plastic bottles are quite safe and completely leak proof. At 60 millilitres it's cost effective compared to the 40 mil unthinned Mr. Surfacer. Both are affordable. The airbrush is cleaned up with standard lacquer thinner. First, an adhesion and microfilling test utilizing some plastic spoons sanded down from 2000 grit sandpaper to a very rough 120 grit to see how much this paint fills in after regular wear and tear of sanding, nub removal, and seam line work. If we were speaking in the realm of Mr. Surfacer, I'd say it's between 1500 regular paint to 1000. There is a bit of a filling property as 2000 grit to 240 grit looks pretty good. Once we cracked out to the 120, which is uh, very scratchy, it did not behave as a spray putty, which I did not expect to behave as such. Overall, smooth application, ticks the box for sure. As a supporting test on a proper model part, I'm gluing together a entry grade Gundam arm, allowing it to dry and sanding the excess uh, goop bump, as is common urban myth of form of filling seam lines. Applying the primer on it, you can see all the detail pop beautifully panel lines and whatnot without flooding. Fortunately, it's not a magic bullet in fixing actual imperfections. Scratching the plastic after a few hours drying shows a decent amount of wear resistance. Double downing the test with my usual requirements of needing to use multiple mediums and effects, I've applied some masking tape two hours after application some paint over it to soften things up and removed it with no stripping or chipping the lines are very crisp and the gloss luster remains intact i have failed to mention there's an inclusion of a ball bearing inside the bottle making shaking far easier than opening it up and stirring making it truly a pour and spray immediately. One trick that many of the Japanese primers do thoroughly struggle with and especially with Mr. Surfacer discontinuing their resin friendly primer is the application on garage kits and caster resin. Some primers have a tendency of not sticking properly, sliding off or being a tad tack. It was a bit of an unfair test though I sprayed this across a newly bought AliExpress model also not knowing its capability and found it to apply an etch very smoothly and beautifully. This definitely does have a thumbs up and a tick of approval for resin use. This tiny figure's retained its detail and the greater organic aircraft is extremely smooth and texture free. Primer is very important to me. I'm fairly creative. I have a wide range of interest in mediums, model kits and style from very rough vintage resin to ultra fine detail and I have a large repertoire of primers for different uses and purposes and I have also had quite a bit of trouble with premix primers in the past Alclad clogging up and the Australian SMS leaving quite a horrendous texture behind my general preference has always been Tamiya for most projects and the micro filling properties of Mr. Surfacer for more special projects. This is very difficult to recommend to beginners and people willing to improve their models on what product to buy for whatever they're working on. As a near beginner friendly and blanket 
solution. I can definitely put my support behind this product as a shake, pour and spray. My only criticism is I'm not a huge fan of the darkened grey colour and that slight gloss sheen. It almost just feels a bit like paint than a specialty primer but the viscosity consistency is pretty spot on. Thank you very much for watching and as always until next time stay tuned for further content we'll catch you guys next time. Have a look at the description section down below for more content and I've got a bunch more Zurich products, main paint lines and other specialty paints to test and showcase on this channel. See you later.